totalitarianism. Hail totalitarianism. Hail totalitarianism. That's what the authority is for. Totalitarianism. Hail totalitarianism. It's what everybody worships. Welcome, everyone. Introducing Rebel Studios 2, a one-year-old channel with 285 and counting videos. Now, I can't quite pin down what category Rebel Studios 2 fits into. Is he a sovereign citizen? When it comes to sovereign citizens, they don't exist. I do not call myself a sovereign citizen to a sheriff or a cop. When I get, I'm a sovereign citizen. Uh, you can't, there is nothing in the U.S. Constitution calling us sovereign citizens. We're enforcing the Constitution because we're supposed to. It states it, that the Constitution was created in the beginning to restrain the government from enforcing anything they want to impose upon the people. That's what it was created for. Look it up. What was the U.S. or no, what was the North American Bill of Rights created for? Is he anti or pro government? The forefathers of America were anarchists, they were anti rulers. The King of England, or Britain, was a ruler, and he was a tyrannical ruler, and they still are. And they came to take the guns in 1860. I mean, 1770, uh, uh, or it was late 1760s or early 1770s. They came to take the guns. The British are coming. The British are coming. That was when they went to war. And they fought against the tyrannical leader. And then after they create, and then, and then they created the Declaration of Independence to be independent from a ruler to govern yourself called self-governance. We're governed. They were governed before 1774. They were rebels. They rebelled against the Britain uh, monarchy. All countries that have a leader is a monarchy. We're under a monarchy. If we wasn't, we would govern ourselves. There would be no laws no, or law enforcement. There would be no government making laws, no Congress making laws. There'd be none of that. And when they created the government in 1787, they created it with laws that prevented the people of the government from creating laws to impose upon the people to prevent them from governing the people until 1860 when it all changed it all changed in 1860 the forefathers of America were anarchists and rebels is he a US states denier if you're birth certificate claims you to be born in the United States then the US Constitution applies to you before the state uh, Constitution and the laws thereof the state applies to you you're a US citizen first that's what you that's where you were born so when anyone asks you where you were born you were born in the United States you weren't born in Texas you weren't born in America you were born in the United States you were claimed by your birth certificate to be born in the United States not in Texas your parents live in that state 
when you were born. You were born in a hospital that is on U.S. federal land. So you were born in the United States. All hospitals sitting on a piece of land is claimed to be sitting on United States federal land. Same with banks, same with post offices, and any other organization that's attached to the government and is, has a federal name attached to it. Is he a religious feminist? Any woman who obeys laws of the government whom man has created to create laws to give you privileges that they can take away because that's all their laws are for you women <laughs> you're being ruled over by laws made by man you want to sit there and be ruled over a man be ruled over by a man then stop obeying man's laws and turn to god because god is separate god don't give you privileges god gave you freedom to be independent asking again is he a sovereign citizen if the name that is on your a driver's license on my my license my id whatever if that's my name the government and the judges and everybody says that's my name why are they forging my name into their system i want to know how are they allowed to forge my name onto papers and, and whatever else in their computers, you know, typing it in, if that's my name? If it's not my name, they don't need to be attaching it to me. I mean, I never write it in all capital letters. I never get to use, write it down to use it in all capital letters. The only way it's used is on those little cards you get debit and credit cards and your id and your license and that piece of paper from your uh insurance companies and that piece of paper on your registration and that piece of paper on your tax and every freaking thing that's your name they're forging your name they're committing a felony crime and forging your name they're forgers if they can write your, print your name out, write it out, and that all caps name, and they say it's your name, and you say it's my name, that's my name, how can they write, uh, uh, write it down without my consent? I don't give them that consent, yet they forcefully do it anyways. Is he a Delete Laws, a.k.a. Chili Sucker? Till they torture you, back to blue, till they torture you. Yes, he definitely listens to Delete Laws. Today, it's early in the morning though. Or no, it was actually on the 23rd. Yesterday, the 23rd of uh, May 2022, <laughs> I came up with because of Chile on delete laws talking about defamation of character well I as a white man am being claimed as a racist and I am not they have no evidence that this white man right here is racist they're saying all white men are racist well I just contacted Robert Barnes through Twitter I DM'd him and told him, I want to file a civil uh, defamation of character lawsuit against the media, the mainstream media, and the U.S. government for claiming that I, as a white man, is racist against black people. <laughs> and guess what? Black people, you can file 
a defamation of character lawsuit against the mainstream media and the U.S. government <laughs> for the 1968 crime bill that they created based upon claiming that all black people are super predators. Hillary Clinton said that and Joe Biden backed that. So, let the lawsuits begin on both sides. We come together. We got the ability to come together and take them down without a fight. We can sue them for defamation of character against both of us. Thank you. Or, you're welcome. <laughs> Is he a misogynist? I believe the Civil Rights Act was created to allow women to go to work to begin the destruction of the family. Businesses cannot not hire women because it's discrimination. Everything else was fine until they put in sex, you know, male, which is male and, and female, and only females would have been rejected without the Civil Rights, Rights Act. So, I think the Civil Rights Act should be eliminated, because women should not be going to work. They should be what they were supposed, what they've always been before the Civil Rights Act. If they want to keep it, well, then they need to take out the part where they can't discriminate and not hire women. Because there are jobs that is too dangerous for women to work in. More than dangerous than uh, for men. They, they put men, uh, men's lives at risk. Because there are things they can't, they're not strong enough to do that a man can do. Is he a constitutional law scholar? Uh, in the U.S. Constitution, <clears throat> it states in there the word person. Persons. We are not persons. We are people. We the people. We are individuals. And we are humans. We, we are not a person. A person, as described in the U.S. Constitution, is an employee of the government. Uh, uh, those who are employed into the government. That's a person of the government. I'm not a person of the government. You are not a person of the government if you're not a government employee. Cops are persons of the government. Judges are persons of the government. Lawyers are persons of the government. Any, go any agency attached to the government and they have to swear an oath of office is a person. Only persons can swear an oath of office. You're not a person if you're a civilian. I'm not a person. I'm a civilian. There's nothing in the U.S. Constitution that says the people, the individuals, the human beings are to follow the laws that are in the U.S. Constitution. It says persons. Because everywhere in there is the word person and persons. And that's employees. They are persons. Employees of the government, the U.S. government, are, are, are persons. And they are the only ones to uphold, defend, obey the Constitution. Not the American people. There's not, America is not in there. The Americans, all the Americans, uh, the American, you know, nothing. Persons. Is he a history major and teacher? Here is something no one was taught in school. Handcuffs were created in the beginning for the black slaves. They're created for black people. 
But then they did enslave other people and put them in it. They enslaved white people at the same time they were enslaving black people. It's just they only said that it was only happening to black people and white people did it to piss off the black people and start a civil war in America. See, the U.S. government is Washington, D.C. It states it on paper. You can look it up. The U.S. federal government is Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is the U.S. that is of separate America. So the land of Washington, D.C., all the laws they make, whatever you want to call them that they make, uh, they're only supposed to enforce them in Washington, D.C., the, the U.S. They're not supposed to enforce them in America, or it wouldn't be in, uh, or, the, or the government, or the uh, Capitol, uh, or the White House wouldn't be sitting in Washington, D.C., and Washington, Washington D.C. being claimed on paper as a territory that resides inside of a foreign territory. They're separate. It, it's not a state, so they don't say it's a state of America. It's not claimed you look up American states. They're not American states anyways. They're states that, that are combined together to help make up the U.S. government. The United States, you, I mean all the states united together to make up the government. And the government uses the states, not the American people, not me, not you, who don't work in the government. The government uses the states because they're users and takers. The government uses the states to take away our property rights. They say, you're in a U.S. state. And the state is of the federal government, so you're inside of an imaginary federal state. It is not an American state. It is a U.S. federal government state to be used to control people in one area. Each little state, one little area. And before, because you won't find the word mayor in the U.S. Constitution. It don't exist. They created mayors for each state and gave the mayors imaginary powers to uh, create police, which in the beginning were called peace officers, to uh, watch and control the people, babysit and control the people like a parent, like a babysitter. We're being babysitted to be policed is to be babysitted. Can't you understand that? You're being policed. That's babysitted. Can you understand that? Why are you supporting being babysitted? Every one of y'all are being babysitted. Even you trolls. You're being babysitted. You're a grown-up child. You're not a grown-up who can go out in the world and once you grow up and do what you want. You don't get to do what you want. You have to do what they want. Your new parents that you get outside of, of your family. They're your new family. And you have to obey them. Or they will punish you. And they will beat you. And they will, you know, starve you. Is he racist and anti-police? No man or woman working as authority is for the family, the familia, because they all treat each other's families, the, their familias, the same way. They treat their family, their familias, as slaves. You're treating your own family as slaves being a cop being a police officer, being a state trooper. 
You are against family. You are for gangster authoritarianism. You're a gangster. You're not a family lover, a familia lover. You're a gangster lover, an authoritarian piece of shit gangster lover. That's what you fucking are, you fucking Mexicans working as cops. You're not for your familia. You're for that gangster authoritarian shit. Yeah, you love power and control. You ain't for family. You ain't got no moral values. You're a piece of shit. You're a demon. Does he think he is free from criticism for spreading delete laws? I mean, his truth? These trolls, <laughs> Karens that come on here to attack people like me who's out there to get the truth out and everything, they must have boring, miserable lives. Because it's the only way they can have fun and get off, you know, and, and make themselves uh, put a smile, get themselves to have a smile put on their face is to attack people like me. I, I don't go out and attack no one. I don't go out and say, you have to do this. You are, this is what it says. I just put out there the truth of the law and everything and, and just tell you what's going on. And then they come on here and attack. Just attack. They sit there and they probably get off on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got him now. Oh, yeah. Topping on that, you know, being armchair quarterbacks against the truth you know that's what they do they're armchair quarterbacks with no life they ain't out you know growing anything they'll put a smile on their face they don't like that no it's too hard for me it, excuses after excuses and then they, oh, this is easier. I can just be on here and just attack people and, and, and drink my drink and eat my snacks and jerk off while I'm, in, and while I'm enjoying it. That's what they sit there and do. They get off on attacking people and having people like us being attacked with violence when we're being peaceful. We're just going about our day, going about our business like they're doing. When they go about their day and about their business, they're, they're being left alone. Yeah, they got what they need, so they can kind of be left alone. But a cop can just all of a sudden say, I think you're suspicious. Uh, so and, and pull you over and then and, and then start acting all scared and shit and bury you. you're a criminal when they act like that they're they're looking at you as a criminal and back to blue till they attack and torture you because that's the way it works they torture they attack with violence against non-violent peaceful people trying to live their life ain't no victim around create no victim that they saw they didn't see any crime. They just suspect. That's all they got to do is suspect. That's just enough. And, and, and you're in trouble. And they're attacking you. And then they're putting them torture cuffs on you to torture you. And then they put you in the back of that seat. And you sit there. You know, you may be short. It may not be that uncomfortable. It may hurt a little. But you, do, do you, you look at a big guy. It's a lot different. They don't make them vehicles, the, the, the seats in them vehicles where a big guy can fit in them uh, back seats. You know, they just chunk and shove you in there, break your wrist, you know, uh, cut your wrist with them cuffs. They're torture cuffs. They're made for torture. And so when you get, you get out and you finally out of jail and even staying in jail is torture for a non-violent peaceful person. It's torture. All of it's a dungeon. They used to be known as dungeons. That's all they were known as in the past. It's dungeons. Dungeons. And then later on, they started calling them jails and prisons because they sounded better. It's still a bad word, but not as bad as a dungeon. You know, uh, it's, it's just as bad as a dungeon. And they're still nasty. They're not cleaning them after someone been in there and laying on the concrete, slobbering everywhere. They ain't cleaning those mats that they have you lay on that some nasty person laid on before that. They're not sanitary. They're a dungeon. Finally, 
Is he conspiracy minded? John Kerry is preparing for war against the farmers. And you're sitting here worrying about us who want to be free to farm, to travel in our private property, you know, to be free. They want to control us and you want to help them control you and us and the farms and the food and the water and the air and everything and the businesses. That's what you want. You're a tyrant. You're with the tyrants. You're a, 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 a you're for treason against freedom. You're a tyrant. You're with John Kerry. You don't want to have clean, good food. They want to poison it. You are for war. You're for war against people who want to be free and left alone. Now, I want you to make up your own minds about Rebel Studios 2 with the evidence I have presented. I do not want you going over to his channel to harass him. If you feel the need to leave a comment, be respectful. Attack the message, not the messenger. Got it? Good. Hit the like button. Just hit the like button. Thank you, Chili. Remember to also share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and click all. Thank you for watching. You are all awesome. See you in the next video. Oh, and the whole time Trump was president, the chemtrails never stopped. I'm for cleaner air, cleaner water, cleaner everything. Well, the chemtrails is poisoning all of it. He did not stop it.